Good morning. Good morning. Good morning to everybody. Shake your tail feather. Shake your tail feather. Shake your tail feather. Shake your tail feather. For all the ones who are off today, shake a tail feather. Shake a tail feather. Okay? Because you off. You out with your family. You enjoying life. You're breathing. Instead of in that rush, 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 fast-paced world where we have to hustle and bustle and hustle, hustle and bustle and hustle, hustle and bustle throughout Monday through Friday in the rat race of, rat race of the working world. The working world, people. The ones that get up and go to them nine-to-five jobs. Okay? Okay, we can't set our own schedules unless we are uh, entrepreneurs, but they are the most hardworking people. Honey, I'd rather work hard, you know what I'm saying, for someone else. And I'm just speaking for myself, okay? Then work for myself, because that's an all-day grind, 24-7. You'll be working in your sleep trying to figure out how ends are going to meet. All right, all right. I, I know y'all heard me. I know y'all heard me. But okay, like and share my videos all the same but you know i like it when you subscribe you subscribe you subscribe you like 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 subscribe 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 like 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 well, let's get on into this story honey i had to go down to atlanta black star now all of this is just playing in my mind it ain't actually happened okay and the news that i break out to you all it could be true like they're putting it out there but then again it may not be so take it for what it's worth okay all of it's just allegedly allegedly I ain't went to court. I ain't seen none of this shit play out. I don't sit at these folks' tables and listen and gossip and write notes on how I'm going to put their life out on Front Street. They do it to themselves half the time. And then you got the super snoopers that go around and just dig, dig dirt and put it out on social media. And it's up to that person that is being offended to come out in the public and set the record straight or just let it just let it roll. Just let it roll because you know the truth of the matter, okay? They don't need no defender. They don't. They know, and they're quite aware. If they name out in those streets that's keeping people talking about them, whether it's the good news or the bad news or whether it's true or untrue, that's just how life is, okay? But swinging the bats, Kirsten Willis, yes, Lord, Kirsten Willis broke another home run. She playing baseball out there, and she's not taking any prisoners, okay? She playing to win. So I know her paycheck be looking good over there at Atlanta Black Star, because she just keep us informed, in tune of the internet, entertainment world celebrity news, okay? She give us shit we can use, all right? If it ain't true, it sound good. <laughs> it does sound good, okay? And if you're not breaking it out on your own platform to the social media ways out there, the highways and the byways, I'm sure you're having the conversation with yourself or you're having it with your friends. So you're just as guilty as I am. So don't point the fingers on me. Take the plank out of your own eye, okay, before you come judge. All right, okay, just my little spiel. But now I have to break out in song because I tell you, it, it hasn't been 24 hours since I put a story out on Nene Leakes and Cynthia trying to mend their fences. And what do Nene go around? What does she go around and do? Okay. I said, Lord, Hammers, let me break out this song. Here it go, whether you want to hear it or not. <laughs> Nene Leakes, this is for you. I'll always love you. Mm. For the rest of my days, you have made my life complete with your sweet, sexy, crazy ways. You give me news that I never thought I could use, but you made my gentle heart. To love all the things that you do. So I will always love you. For the hypocrite ways. And the no nonsense business that you give and gave. Yes, okay, yes. All in love, all in love. Me, you ain't... You ain't worth a shit, I tell you. And I say that with the utmost respect and love for you, okay? You ain't shit, Nene. I mean, how you gonna try to call yourself mending fences with Cynthia? Okay, I, I forgot to tell y'all. Let me re rewind, rewind back. The story broke on Nene Leaks, okay? She going around here calling herself making up with Cynthia. But then on the other hand, okay, I had to say they don't let the left hand know what the right hand doing. I don't let the right hand know what the left hand doing. However that goes, okay? Nene ain't worth a shit, okay? Now, she know that Cynthia's ex-husband, and she don't have no bad feelings toward him, but she don't want to be bothered with him either, okay? 
because he was out there trying to milk her bank accounts. You know, she had said, uh-uh, no more, no more, no more. I don't want you no more. I don't want you no more. Because you're greedy, greedy, greedy. I don't want you no more. I don't want you. I don't want you. I had to divorce you amicably. Okay? Yeah, that's what she had said. And so why are you fooling around and for somebody you call the itch on live reality TV, Nene? I don't understand this. But I get it. I got it good. Okay? I had to rethink. What is your plan? What is your idea? Okay? So... You have to be the backstabber. You have to be the bone carrier. You have to be the messy pot stirrer. You have to be the one who throw rocks at a glass house and then hide your hands and turn the other way and grab your purse and like, who did that? Why did they do that to those people? Knowing your hand is dirty as all can get out. Knowing you sitting up here setting up folks for the okie doke and you got us all intrigued. That's why I say our OG got to come with many plays. <laughs> And Nene Lee's got a playbook for life, okay, on how to keep the drama, how to keep in front of the other ladies, and, and, and then calling the shots and playing, ooh, I need therapy, I done broke down, <laughs> y'all, I need y'all, come to my defense, type of manic, depressive order thing going on in her mentality, in her mind, y'all, I said, oh, to break it down to me, break it down to me, girl. And she did. She said, I told you, Nene ain't nothing. But that's what keeps her on this reality TV show, Housewives of Atlanta. Because it would not be anything without her being in the mix of the ingredients. Okay, the main ingredients. You know what I'm saying? Woo, Nene, girl. Honey, she gave me an article that was titled, Do You Still Think Peter Is a Botch? Okay, Nene leaks this as she links up with Cynthia Bayless ex husband I told you it ain't worth a shit. It ain't worth a shit. Ain't nowhere in the world. If I know my bestie, who was my ride or die, and I'm really missing her, and I'm trying to get back in her good graces and show her, I've learned from my mistakes. I have learned from my mistakes. Do you ask the thing? Unless this man is on his dying bed or his, something horrific happened to him, and you just showing loyalty and love, you know, for another man, you know, that humanity type love. No matter what they did to you, you just feel sorry because, you know, the Lord put that in your spirit. Okay, he showed us how to be compassionate and empathetic for people. Because sometimes, sometimes we don't go through what a lot of people go through in, in our lifetime that we live. But we can empathize with them. That's what empathy is all about. You're not strongly being affected by or ever experienced it. But you could just lend a listening ear and a shoulder to cry on and say, damn. I'm sorry you're going through this. I don't know what that feel like. That's what empathy is. Now, sympathy is what we all go through, okay? We all want somebody to sympathize with us, especially we, you know, having bad things that could affect and have affect just about everybody, you know, like racism or discrimination or um, what do you call it? Uh, poverty in some sense uh, of living, you know, you could be uh, detrimental, Um when it comes to not making enough money to support your needs, your family needs, or it could be, you know, uh, you have an illness that's not curable and you're just living life with it daily and, and going with the obstacles and the hit and misses that it, it gives you on a daily basis. Or, you know, you may be suffering from depression. You up one day, you're down the next, you know what I'm saying? And you just need people's sympathy uh, to help you get along in their uplifting charismatic ways to show you that you can you know you need mentorship you need people to be supportive people you know your group uh support group and all that nature but i'm like nah, nah. <laughs> bravo is paying you well and you don't took master classes you teaching them now honey you teaching the people how to be shady consistently okay not shade sometimes but consistently throw the shade even when they ain't even recognizing you shading them girl go ahead and at least go ahead girl that's why I will always love you. Because you bring the drama, honey. You bring it. It don't matter if it's good, bad, ugly. You bringing it, okay? On a mild dose. And sometimes you have to give full strength, all right? And I ain't mad at you because that's what all the entertainment is about. If you were boring or if you sitting up there just giving us stuff that we can, you know, pretty much expect for a, a nice, decent person, ain't nobody going to look at you because let's face it. When you sitting out here talking good about a person or you singing their accolades or this, that, that, or you just 
telling people how to live right, do right, have some spirituality about themselves. You know, like for me, I was like believing in Jesus Christ because he is coming back. He's claiming his people. But y'all, some of y'all don't get down like that. Y'all don't agree with it. And I understand. Okay, it's one of those things you got to agree to disagree. All right, but everybody has their own torture. They have to pass on or they have to run with. Okay, they have to let their little light shine no matter what's going on. All right, <coughs> but uh. <laughs> Woo, Nene, where are you something else? You are something else, girl. We're getting on into this article, okay? <laughs> I'm telling Nene, just pick a side, Nene, pick a side. She said, hell no, I'm being neutral. I'm going to run all these uh, itches down. If I, have to, if I have to come that way, I'm running every last one of them down. Everybody can get it, any and everybody, okay? In this world, if they come and step into my platform, they try to take my... Uh, food out of my mouth, okay, from paying my bills and my sustaining my ways that I like to live. I'm coming for every last one of them. I don't care. I don't care. See, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> Nene don't care. And she don't set the tone. Y'all can believe y'all can get up here and kiki with Nene, but if she find a way to shade you and still look good, she going to do it. <laughs> she is going to do it, all right? She don't study. <clears throat> she don't got her associate's, bachelor's, master's, doctorate degree. And she's licensed, okay? She is licensed to give and get. <clears throat> Even though she can't, she she weak on that side of getting. You know what I'm saying? When somebody want to dish it up to her full, fledged, served, just, you know, read it with any name on it. She can't have it, especially if everybody on that bandwagon. There she try to go play that. Who I'm broke down. I need my help. I need I need some help. I need my people to uplift me, not tear me down when I'm going through. <laughs> You know that, but then again, she plays that well. She plays on them emotions because she know she around some good people. Okay, that have a heart, and then she like, mm -mm, her heart is hardening by the day. But then again, she just showing us that because she might have a good spirit off the camera around the people that she love and like, and she want to dish it on them. But Sydney, Nene, it's all about dishing it on us too. Even your uh, viewers of your show, even the ones that follow you in the airports and, and, and highways and byways, as long as they ain't threatening your life, it's okay to give them a little hug, a little shake of the hand, a little picture taken. Ain't nobody that busy. I'm sorry. Ain't nobody that busy. And if you know you want these celebrities rolling around in Atlanta, Georgia, you better get with it because we can tear you down in a minute. And you stationed here, you stationed here. Child, we got bloggers, high-priced bloggers out there that will come on their tube and tag you down, read you how they say in YouTube streets, for sale, huh? Okay, and they be getting cl clicks, views, and they be living high just as much as you living high. Don't get it twisted now. So that's all I'm saying to Nene. Just because you go to all these elite type parties and you rub heads with all these big wheels and, and movers and shakers here in Atlanta and stuff of that nature, it's cool. But don't forget that you still are a human being. And the people that are around you every day, walks of life, people, they see you, they get starstruck. It don't take much, baby. They just get them a little click with the camera, a little handshake. Because you got hand sanitizer, baby. Keep it in your purse. Keep it in your purse. If you don't want germs and all this, that, and nature, you ain't got to hug people, you know, because that's a cultural thing. So a uh, little handshake, and then some people, you can't, you got to bow down. You know what I'm saying? You got to bow. Them Asian folk, they get down like that. It's like a dishonor if you try to shake their hand. Nah, and you're a female too, don't do it. <laughs> but like I said, it might be different rules for a different set of people. You know what I'm saying? If you're a real celebrity, they might say, okay, I shake your hand. I take a little photo off because you who you are, and they want to be seen with you thinking you got that real a strong connection and all that it is is just you had a film moment you had a kodak moment you had a camera moment and that was it they probably won't even remember you unless you really stood out to them and you really out there uh in that realm of living in celebrity ship world okay yeah then they might even talk about it when they own different uh radio or tv or uh, personality shows okay talk shows is what i'm trying to say but let's get on back into this article i ran awry i ran awry okay we're going back with Kristen uh willis's story do you still think peter is a bodge nene leaks this as she links up with cynthia bailey's ex-husband now nene leaks and peter thomas look to be thick as thieves this week when the pair grabbed dinner with leaks's husband greg uh, leaks in Miami, but fans our brides were raised over Nene's interaction with Thomas, and just a little quick sidebar you know what, 
I saw Peter and Nene as a better hookup, a better couple, a better married man and woman. And I really thought uh, Cynthia and Greg had made a very good uh, winning match together, you know, for their personalities and just how they grew and lived through life. You know, Greg is a more seasoned man. And he just want to settle down, make a little appearances here in the public. Uh, you know, for whatever. He's like a homebody. And Cynthia gives me that little itch, too. Okay, that she does pretty much the same thing. So, I don't know if my kill is that way, but if he's anything like uh, Peter Thomas, I don't think it's going to last long. <laughs> I don't think it's going to last long. But like I say, Cynthia didn't really do her homework. Just like she jumped in the sack with Peter, she didn't really meet all his family members and, and any of that nature, especially over uh, where he's Nate, where he was native, but where his native land is, where he was born and raised. You know, she just met them, his aunt or somebody, uh, at that same time they came to visit. <laughs> like, girl, live through his life, okay? Actually, don't live vicariously. Go out to some cousins, okay? Some aunts, some uncles, some grandparents, okay? And get the real jest. And do that with my kid before you go on and tie that knot. Okay, y'all engaged. I understand that. You're making wedding plans. But go see his people, honey. See who you connecting with. See who you're going to be bogged down with, okay? Because come with my kill is a lot of baggage. She got two kids. I don't know if they're from the same woman. Or it might be two different entities. I ain't that interested to know, but I know he got two children, okay? And then, you know, what about his folks? You know, you need to know what you're getting into, Cynthia, before you drop down and say, I want to make a house a home. Ah! And my Luther gun draws his voice, okay? But getting back to the article, it said, the uh, leaks were in Miami Monday to celebrate Thomas for the grand opening of Bar One in Magic City. In the Magic City, which officially begins business Thursday. The meal at lavish Chinese restaurant Mr. Chow also served as a way for Thomas to celebrate his, birth, his birthday about a month early. Where's his girlfriend at? Where's his girlfriend? I'm talking about Peter Thomas, but we ain't gonna we ain't gonna tear it too long on that subject, okay? So T, uh, T, Peter need to be an eligible seasoned bachelor. He don't never need to get married no more. Okay, but that's just my thought, my opinion, all right? Uh, going back to the article, it says, Hi, it's your girl Nene Leakes and Peter Thomas. Place is open on Thursday. The Real Housewives of Atlanta star happily stated to the camera in September 9th videos posted to Thomas' Instagram page. Leakes also shouted out Cynthia Bailey, ex-husband, for September 9th being his fake birthday before telling fans she'll try to be in attendance for the new venue's opening. Meanwhile, the OG Real Housewives of Atlanta star hubby Greg explained, exclaimed, yeah, for the camera. My people is all good. Bar one Miami Beach, Thomas captioned the video. But while things were all good, to Thomas, fans found the giddy gathering puzzling, considering the Charlotte, North Carolina-based businessman past tensions with Nene. At Nene, Leaks, do you still think Peter is a bitch? Okay. Uh, at Peter Thomas, Real Housewives of Atlanta. I remember when she called you a B. She's so fake. Watch your back. Nene ain't nobody's mother friend. Not even Greg's. LOL. The remarks referred to the time during a couple's sleepover in season six of the Real Housewives of Atlanta when Nene confronted Thomas for getting involved in a drama between her and her, her and Kenya Moore at the masquerade ball. That's also when Nene's relationship with Bailey began to worsen. This this what you need to do, Nene said in an episode with a pointed finger to Thomas. You need to stay out of women's business. You are causing effing problems. You are the only husband, boyfriend, fiance that gets involved in women's business. What we do as women is between us. You need to roll with these fellas and not tr uh, not trying to roll with these women. You stop trying to be a damn uh, itch. However, it seems Thomas and Leeks have long put that behind them. During season 11, Thomas visited, <coughs> excuse me, Thomas visited the Leeks' home and caught up with the couple while Nene acknowledged she and Bailey's former hubby used to bump heads. She claimed they are now just cool as S. Okay? You know, probably shit she meant to say. Presently, Thomas is also singing his pal's praises Writing and caption of another video with the crew at Miami's Prime 112 Steakhouse. My friends are real. I love Nene Leakes and Greg Leakes. Real Housewives of Atlanta forever. Charlotte and Miami. 
Okay, guys, and that was pretty much the gist of that conversation and that video, and that's where I'm going to end it as well. But you can definitely get in them comments, tell me what y'all feel about Nene jumping to the opposing side that she once was drilling down. Okay, drilling down like a, a, a drill to a piece of wood with a nail going through it. Okay, put a fork in it. It was done. And I'm done with this video, guys. I'll be back with another salacious story. You know just how I get down with all my entertainment in between all of it okay but y'all be blessed i will see y'all next video peace